So what, I, what I've tried to display is that there's this, this chef, the master chef, it is a cook. In order for the other guy, who's the engineer with that hat backwards, because he's a pretty cool guy, to get an insight into what's going on in nature, but in order to get that information from nature to this guy, there well, has to be some computer tool which uh, consists of a lot of different parts. And my goal in the PhD is to be that chef that starts to understand these different parts and how to apply them and be able to uh, apply them again later on. And then the, on the other hand, I also want to be able to give this guy to, the, the key to work with this kind of stuff. And I also would like to be this guy in the end. I want to be able to apply this type of knowledge from biology in engineering projects. The idea is that this guy might know like, about normal kind of things in nature, but he doesn't know about the weird stuff in the, in the back, or like chemical processes or whatever. So the idea is that through this pipeline, he ends up with suggestions of what he can use. And even though this is a very weird thing, it might be exactly what he's looking for. So mine is quite basic as well. So it's a platform. See, the PhD is a way of elevating yourself up to bigger and better things. Uh, each one of these structures represents a different thing. So your education, your your, your undergraduate, your uh, where you're from, and what all help you to support. This tube here represents people supporting you, the people you meet, your family, your friends, your uh, your supervisors, your people you meet in industry, you're just on the top. Um, the different bricks represent different things you bring together to make this platform. And as you can see, it's wider the more you get to the top. Just like we said, you want to be a pie-shaped student, you know, the wide, the wide, the wide spread knowledge and whatnot, and then the depth as well. Uh, these ladders represent helping to bring other people with you as well, not just an individual journey. <laughs> We're with people of different uh, races and nationalities uh, merged together into a group. We're going to have to shoulder same, the same strengths and fears. Mm -hmm. I said shoulders, but no shoulders on the head. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, during that, uh, that road you'll find obstacles, as you can see. Yeah. And you will find the fears. There will be fears and uh, people who may try to drain out your life or so be toxic to you, and that's what the skeleton symbolizes. And uh, there might be the fear of some failure as well, that's why the hand mark here. Okay. No, nobody's gonna die, of course, but uh, you, many people before you might have failed, and you always fear that this might happen to you as well. And eventually, you are guided to a ladder which has on purpose some gaps because there will always be gaps in our knowledge we will have to fill in order to progress and the PhD is symbolized by the flag but of course it's not the end it's only the end till you decide about your next goal first of all uh, this arc is an arc of doom for me because for me it's a great achievement to, to complete my PhD this is me with sunglasses. Then this is the flag. Of, it looks like an Italian flag, or it's a Mexican flag. <laughs> <laughs> I just got the snake of the God of Arm of Mexico. I just missed the, the eagle, and the, the cactus. And that. Well, this means that when people ask me if I want to, when I finish my PhD, I want to come back to Mexico. And actually, yes, I want to come back to Mexico because. Uh, one of the reasons of my people doing a PhD is to go there and and help to improve my, my country, the education in my country. So these skeleton kings and um, represent the, the bad things in Mexico that I want to to help to eradicate. I mean for myself, just alone I can do more, I can do too much, but I can still help to to do it, to, to do Mexico to be a better place for education and that stuff. And yeah, it's a, it's a journey from, to come here and to return to Mexico and well, I, I love my country.